Today, Paul's cooking badass grilled cheese sandwich. Yummy. Hello, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another cook and review. How are you doing, Paul? I'm doing very well. Awesome. What are we cooking today, sir? We're gonna make a couple of badass grilled cheese sandwiches. What is in a badass grilled cheese sandwich? I have not the slightest idea. Yes, you but do. But we're gonna work on it. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay. I've got some chicken breast, I've got buttermilk, and I've got some uh, flour, which I put, uh, you got about two cups of flour, a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of cayenne pepper. Nice. And, then, uh, and just a couple of shot of uh, black pepper. So I already cut the chicken breast. So what we're gonna do is, in our, our fancy sandwich we're gonna do here. Oh. That's the wash. Oh. So this is beyond any type of any grilled cheese anybody's ever heard of. I haven't even heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> I love ah. it. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna do uh, maybe a triple or have probably be big with a triple. We're gonna do it anyways. So on the bottom I'm gonna do a buffalo chicken, and the top's gonna be bacon and popcorn shrimp. Popcorn shrimp. So I've already got this going. That looks, it feels hot from here. Holy. Yeah, you can feel the heat. Pop it in there. Two in there. I'll just bring this back so we're gonna do some shrimp too. Oh boy. Look at those beautiful shrimps. What are we looking for, Paul? The color? Well, or the color the and the feel? Yeah, and then when she starts floating there. Well, that's right. I remember the whole floating thing. Mmm. Can you smell that chicken? I can smell chicken. So while that's cooking, I'm going to cut the bread. Let's save some steps here. Ooh, fresh bread. Look at Oh, this is going to make it the bomb. Oh. Nice and thick. I don't know if you want to go too thick. The amount of food that you're going to put in there is going to kill us. Okay, yeah. is that for you? This is my sandwich. That's, that's your starting you of your sandwich. You get nothing. Oh, she's cooking nice. Put some butter on these. Okay. Get that ready. Once that shrimp's good to go, we can start toasting these. Now, is there any special way you should spread butter, Paul? Are you kidding me? <laughs> There'll be that one person that will say, Paul, how do you spread butter? I spread it with a knife. And, and not any any specific type of knife. A butter knife, maybe? <laughs> I guess, I haven't even started drinking yet. I'm going to start drinking beer right about now. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, is how you spread butter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See a nice golden brown? Oh, yeah. It's funny. The, um, the paprika is in chunks. So you can see where it's... See the chunks of paprika? Yeah. Why did it chunk up like that? Because I didn't mix it that great. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. Nice. I'm going to shrimp in there now. People love that. I'm going to get both these pans going at the same time just to make it a little faster. Sure. Mmm. Spin. Piece, piece on you and a piece on you. And that would be a marble. This is a yeah. I bought a marble cheddar. Right there. And that smells great. That's one of those wok type tools you have there. It's just easier to, to I, can, I can I can lift out with the tongs, but I can just sure. lift it out with that. You do more. I'm just gonna grab another bowl over here. I want to get the You're gonna buffalo them, right? Yeah, we're gonna put uh, some Louisiana hot sauce on there. Oh, look at that, people! Oh, that's gonna kind of taste good. Zero fat. Oh, we took it all out. That's right. Mm. No cholesterol. I bought the uh, no cholesterol oil. So this here. So we're good to go. 
We've got some secret ingredients for Kenny too. Oh, dang that. Well, that's blue cheese. Let's taste this. Show us the label. This is the Louise. We've used this one before. Whoops, where is it there? The Louisiana hot sauce. That's a spicy. So we're gonna put this as our bottom layer. What's she doing? Well, you gotta make sure that you don't put it too high because you don't want to burn. Yeah, you want to slow cook. You can oh, do it. Oh, you can do it. Let's sit like that. She's toasting. Mm, that shrimp smells amazing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Were you looking sure. for anything in particular color-wise for the shrimp? Or do they float too when they're ready? They float. So on this. Do you like blue cheese, Ken? Of course. So you're putting blue cheese on top of the chicken. With the hot sauce. I'll crumble it mm. up. Paul loves his blue cheese. I love blue cheese. I could bathe in blue cheese. And what we're going to do is we're going to do it like this. Like that. Okay. Like that. We're going to move this into the center. We're going to put... The shrimp is. Oh wow! I'm gonna make room for the top because I want to toast the top one too. So like you need another pan. I do. Or a griddle. I could use one more pan. And then for the top. Oh my! People with the shrimp. A little onion. Do not put pickle on mine. Are you I'm sure? Gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Really? I think you'll wreck it, man. Oh, you you'll want wreck the, mine you want the and tang. put pickle on it. Okay, I won't put pickle on it. I'm putting pickle in mine. You know what? Put put a couple on one one corner, just to see. People will be like, you gotta try what Paul's cooking. Let's go like this. I'm gonna put in the space. Okay, we're almost. Look at those things. So I'm just gonna take this off like that. Set that down there. I'm just gonna toast this. <gasps> no! What did you do? Oh, we wanted to get a piece on there too. Right, that you didn't do that to the other one. Didn't I? No. Nope. Oh, I got excited with the pickle. You did. Oh. <laughs> I got excited with the pickle. What's your next plan here? Because it's so huge, I want that cheese, everything to melt in together. So I've got the oven at 350. I'm just going to put this in. Got the crisp of the bread up too. Just to crisp it up a little bit. There While we we're waiting. Now we can drink beer, Ken. You know what? I should have had all the ingredients here. Now we gotta quickly save this. Watch, watch. Oh boy. Oh boy. I just, I just looked over the Paul's like, shoulder just as he's about to open up the beer fridge. And I said, what about the bacon? Oh, it hasn't melted yet. Whew. Oh. We locked out. This is what I, this was the, cause everything's better with bacon. We wanted the shrimp and the bacon. There we go. Oh there my God. Go. See, I would have got straight into the beer and forgot the bacon and I would have been so upset with myself. Yeah. I should have just had it all stacked here. There we go. We now saved it's it. Good. Ken, you saved it. Oh. I saved the Okay, day. now let's, let's let's go see where the beer is. Let's go to the fridge. Okay. Now, your wife just said you could have one beer tonight, right? That's right. Okay, here you go. Here's what you're going to have, Ken. There we go. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's a bottle of beer. <laughs> we love Grolsch, but I bought that for Paul as a gift, and uh, he can drink that one night when he's home along. <laughs> So let's try this. So I, I picked these up too at the liquor store. I figured pumpkin ale, Saint Ambroise, citrouille. So we're pumpkin. shooting this on a Thursday night, the Thursday night before Halloween. So I thought we'd grab some. So we're having ale. a badass killer grilled cheese with a pumpkin ale. Let's do it. Show the logo. Cheers. Cheers, sir. What do you? Oh, it does smell like pumpkin. It does. Mmm. That it's is like nice. A, yeah, it, it has it's like pumpkin pie in in a beer. It's yeah, it is. This is pumpkin pie in a beer because it that's tastes awesome. like pumpkin pie, and that's it's actually five percent. It's, uh, it's got a sweetness to it too. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad I picked this up, and I think we'll go good with our grilled cheese sandwiches. I think so. Let's do it. Okay. It smells done, off. buddy. Let's see what's happening. Oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. Oh. I can't remember which one was yours and mine. We should, have, we should have made the bread smaller, so stuff all stuck out of it. Oh. Made it crazy looking. Nice. It's going to taste amazing. So i to be very careful cutting this down. Oh, yeah. 
So you, you slowly cut and then slowly yeah. apply pressure? Yeah. And once I know I'm going through without squishing it down, then I can... Okay. What's the presentation going to be, sir? We're going to do... We're just going to put it on the side like this. I just want to open this up slightly. Oh, that pick I think this one's yours, to tell you the truth. This one looks like it has more pickles. Can I eat little pieces that are falling? Of course. You're the cook. That's the best part about being a cook. Oh. Mm. Okay. Picture time? Let's take a picture. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to eat. Check it up. Show them half uh, a cross section yes. of that monstrosity you designed. This looks like it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Oh, scratch it. Pickles, shrimp, Sniff onion, it. bacon. Mine doesn't have pickle. That's oh. why mine's going to be better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. <laughs> Here's I'm going to try a bite without any of these condiments here first. That's okay. What, one of my questions to you guys is, if you had just like a regular normal grilled cheese, what do you like? Because I love putting a little bit of this Diane ketchup and a little bit of hot sauce. There's usually Frank's, but Paul doesn't have Frank's, I don't think. But this is similar to Frank's. That's very similar. Okay. So we're going to do one, one bite without any sauces. Oh, well, mine looks better than yours. What? Check that out. Look, check the cross section. How can it look better when it has no pickles? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it looks better. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. I was trying to go a bite. Oh, with, with everything in there. I got the pickle pack. Mm. It doesn't really need any dipping sauce. I hate to say it. The pickles make it. The pickles actually helped. Because they weren't big round discs pickles. They're all diced up and put in there. Kind of like a relish. It's the chicken. The way you breaded the chicken is what's really coming through big time. With the hot sauce. Mm. When you get the chicken and the cheese and the bacon and the shrimp all in one bite with that hot sauce. Wow. What's this? Blue cheese. Oh, the blue cheese. So, I'm like, okay, something happened to my sandwich. Yeah, so the chicken? Paul spat in mine. <laughs> the chicken with the hot sauce and the blue cheese, give me that, that buffalo chicken. Yeah. And then with the shrimp, onions, pickles, you're gonna get the tang of, of a, like a tartar sauce. And then you have the cheese in there. There's so a reasoning you're... for all this. Yes. Oh. Mm. I'm afraid to put any sauces on it. I actually think it would kill it. Maybe when you get to like just bread and stuff, you might want to dip that in some ketchup. The blue cheese is totally making that amazing. Mm. You can tell I talk too much because Paul's almost done. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, I'm wearing pickles too there. Mm. I'm guessing the only thing you can make that even more ridiculous is putting like a, like a big slice slab of um, gouda on there mm. on the top on one top instead of using uh, cheddar cheese, putting that like slimy gouda on there. Oh, oh my gosh, mine's getting hotter. <laughs> have you got you must have gotten to a hot spot on there. Well, I'm sweating. All right, guys, Paul and I are gonna polish these off and we'll be right back. You ready? I'm ready. Hang on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Once again, Paul has completely outdone himself. He couldn't even finish his video. I couldn't even finish it. I have one little piece of bread left, but I finished it. I don't waste food. I finished my beer. <laughs> I'm gonna have another one, and I'm gonna go to bed. Oh my gosh. Actually, we're gonna watch The Walking Dead. We are gonna watch The Walking Bed. The Walking Bed. The Walking Bed. The, the bed. Walking Dead. Hmm. Take over for a minute. Yeah, um, fantastic sandwich. Um, my only complaint I had about my own sandwich was at the end I was trying to get a sandwich ready for my other son and I had it in the oven a bit long so I found it a little bit crispy. Now if you find you've done it over toasted, you can always wrap it in saran wrap, nuke it or whatever just to soften it up if you like that soft sandwich. Some people like it crispy like that so you'd want to leave it in a bit longer if you want okay. that nice hard crispy I didn't wrap. mind it. It was actually really good. I, I, it's funny, when Paul put it in the, in the uh, oven I'm like, it's going to get dry, like the bread's going to turn into like three huge 
uh, croutons. Croutons. And uh, he's like, no, I'll be fine. And then when he, that's as far as he got, and he's like, yeah, we, we probably should have put it in the oven for a certain amount of time to crisp it up and then throw it in the microwave just for what? 15 seconds maybe on not fully high, just to melt all the cheese into the, everything and then that would be fine. Paul and I were discussing while we we're doing the speed up part that if you guys ever try any of Paul's recipes, recreate it, take a picture of you with the sandwich or just the sandwich or meal, whatever it is, the recipe that you see on CNR, then we'll retweet it out. We'll give you a favorite, that would be fantastic. If you love these videos guys and you want to continue seeing cooking reviews in your future. I make sure, I my thumbs behind make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. But if you want to watch more of these videos or if you love this video, please click the like button. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding, ding. ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul cooking review. Ken and Paul out. Boop.